Today, we're diving into a critical topic that affects every car owner, the ABS light. If you've noticed that little warning light glowing on your dashboard, you might be wondering what it means. In this video, we'll explore 10 possible reasons why your ABS light is on and what you can do about it. But before we continue, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be the first to see our video. Let's dive right in. Here's a more detailed explanation of each of the reasons why the ABS light in your car might be on. Number 1. Faulty ABS Sensor Each wheel of your vehicle is equipped with a speed sensor that monitors how fast the wheel is rotating. These sensors send data to the ABS system to determine if any wheel is locking up, which would trigger the anti-lock brake system to activate. Over time, the sensors can become dirty or damaged, leading to inaccurate readings. In this case, the ABS system may be unable to function properly, causing the ABS light to come on as a warning. This issue is relatively common, especially in vehicles exposed to harsh environments like snow or mud. Number 2. Damaged wheel speed sensor wiring. The wheel speed sensors rely on wiring to transmit information to the car's ABS control module. If the wiring is damaged, whether due to wear and tear, corrosion, or road debris, it can disrupt communication between the sensors and the ABS module. As a result, the system may interpret this as a malfunction, leading to the ABS light turning on. Damaged wiring is often harder to detect than a faulty sensor, but equally important to the system's proper functioning. Number 3. Low brake fluid. Brake fluid is essential for the entire braking system, including the ABS. Low brake fluid levels may result in a loss of hydraulic pressure within the brake lines, impacting the vehicle's ability to brake effectively. This can also affect the ABS system's ability to prevent wheel lockup, which triggers the ABS light. Low brake fluid can be caused by worn brake pads, a leak in the brake lines, or regular wear. It's essential to top off the brake fluid as soon as possible or repair any leaks. Number 4. Bad ABS Module The ABS module is essentially the brain of the ABS system, controlling the sensors and components that allow the system to function. If the ABS module becomes faulty due to corrosion, moisture ingress, or electrical issues, it will fail to communicate with the sensors and other braking components. This results in the ABS light turning on to alert the driver to the system malfunction. Corrosion in the ABS module is often caused by exposure to moisture over time, especially in older vehicles or vehicles not adequately protected from water. Number 5. Blown Fuse The ABS system is protected by a fuse in your car's fuse box. This fuse helps prevent electrical overloads, which could otherwise damage the system's electrical components. If the ABS fuse blows, the system will not receive the electrical power it needs to function. Consequently, the ABS light will turn on to indicate that the system is inactive. A blown fuse can occur due to age, an electrical short, or a sudden surge in the vehicle's electrical system. Number 6. Worn brake pads or rotors. The ABS system works closely with the entire braking system, including the brake pads and rotors. If the brake pads are excessively worn, or if the rotors are damaged or warped, the braking system's efficiency can be significantly reduced. This can result in increased stopping distances and the potential for wheels to lock up during braking. The ABS light may turn on as a warning that the brake components are in poor condition and need to be replaced. Additionally, worn pads can trigger an imbalance in the braking system, which can be detected by the ABS. Number 7. Malfunctioning ABS Pump or Motor The ABS pump is responsible for maintaining the hydraulic pressure in the braking system, while the motor helps control the hydraulic valves. These components are crucial for the ABS system to function properly during braking. If the pump or motor fails due to wear, corrosion, or electrical issues, the ABS system won't be able to regulate brake pressure properly, leading to potential wheel lockup and a loss of control. The ABS light will illuminate to indicate a failure in one of these components. Number 8. Incorrect tire pressure. The ABS system relies on accurate wheel speed readings to function correctly. 
If one or more tires are significantly underinflated or overinflated, it can cause discrepancies in the wheel speed data being sent to the ABS control module. This may lead the system to assume there's an issue with one or more wheels, resulting in the ABS light turning on. Maintaining proper tire pressure is essential not only for safety, but also for the effective operation of the ABS system. Number 9. Problems with the traction control system. Many vehicles have integrated ABS and traction control systems that work together to enhance vehicle stability and control. If there's a malfunction in the traction control system, it can sometimes trigger the ABS light as well. This could be due to faulty sensors, wiring issues, or a problem with the control module itself. The ABS light serves as a general warning that there's a problem affecting both systems. Number 10. Faulty brake light switch. The brake light switch is responsible for activating the brake lights when you press the brake pedal. If this switch fails, it can disrupt the electrical signals that inform the ABS system of braking activity. In some vehicles, a malfunctioning brake light switch can trigger the ABS light, indicating a problem in the braking system. This issue may also prevent the brake lights from functioning, which could create safety concerns when driving. The ABS light can signal a range of issues, from simple sensor failures to more complex problems with the ABS module or hydraulic components. Regardless of the cause, it's important to address the issue promptly, as the ABS system plays a key role in maintaining vehicle control during emergency braking. If the ABS light turns on, a diagnostic check by a mechanic is advisable to ensure that the system is functioning safely. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more automotive tips and advice. Drive safely!